All right, so Zach wanted me to show you my UAD console setup, specifically how I do remote audio for remote sessions. And the little trick that I have here is something I've been doing for over 15 years, and it works really great. So check this out. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. All right, welcome back to another episode of How the Sausage is Made. And when you're doing a remote session, Right. You generally just have to send your audio to the client so they can hear it. And your audio is mostly just your voice. Right. Well, that works usually uh, very simply with almost any of the telecommunications streaming platforms, Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, etc. Plug into input one on your interface and that's what goes out. But when you're doing VO sometimes remotely, the client will ask you, can I hear that back? after you've done a take. And the problem with that is you have to have a system that allows you to route your playback audio to the client. So if you notice over here, what I have is my input and output for Zoom. This is the Zoom settings window. Is not the universal audio Thunderbolt uh, choice. It's Scarlett 616 USB. It's a separate interface. So I'm using a completely separate interface as my telecommunications hub. All the audio that goes to the client goes into the Scarlet, and the audio back through the, from the client through the app comes back through, uh, through the Scarlet as well. So the return audio from the Scarlet comes back via SPDIF, right? If I hit test speaker, you'll see it's playing back right here in the Skype window. But you don't hear it because it's not in the two bus, but I hear it in my headphones. All right, so this is approximately what you're hearing. It's annoying as shit, so we'll make that go away. So the way I do this is the way I send the audio to the Scarlet separately, very simple. I just use Q2. Anything that I wanna to send to the client goes in the Q2. So if I'm over here and I have like a take, Right, that I want if the client is like, oh, can I hear that back? Right, so I bring that in here, I make sure Q2 is on, and then uh, I lost my little playback window. Here we go, and then I play this, right? And the client will hear it. Tell all your friends, they can go my way. Ticket to ride, a white line highway. Tell all your friends, they can go my way. Right, so you can see it playing back here. Um, you can't hear, oh, wait, yeah, so you probably could hear that, because uh, I had that up there. Um, so yeah, so the client is able to hear playback that, uh, you know, whenever they ask for it. And the way you do that again is routing everything to a single point. And that point being the 616 and the way I route it is through Q2. Yeah. Right. And then it goes into the 616, spit if in, spit if out. And, um, you go over here, right. And then Q outputs, and this is set for spit if. And if your your interface doesn't have uh, digital in, digital out, if it's just analog in, analog out, that's fine because the client is really just monitoring audio. An analog in and out is not going to make that much of a difference because you're just hearing them talk. You know, it's just the talk back. So you can use, you know, you can use analog 7, 8, which is what I send out of the back of the Apollo Duo rack system. So I send the cue down as a stereo pair through a separate output into the 616, and there you go. So that's the way it works. And um, overall, uh, it's, it's been this way. I've been using a separate interface uh, for quite a while, and I know that there are, are software uh, packages like Loopback. I've never tried Loopback. It sounds interesting. I'm sure Loopback does all of this. But I just, I'm just used to using a second interface. And you, you know what? Who doesn't have like a, a second interface? So once you've kind of graduated up to a, a level where you're working and stuff, you probably have an old interface or a spare interface. So it just uses my telecommunications interface. This is simple. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think. All right. What are you doing? Are you using Loopback? Is there another software, uh, you know, patching system that maybe I should look at or consider? Or do I just stick with my kind of, you know, <laughs> using leftover stuff that was in my closet to, you know, fix this and uh, make a solution that works? <laughs> All right. Tell me what you think. All right. Until next time.
This is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.